Hello guys and welcome back to the channel with a new video. Yes, you need to have at least 10,000 of Algorand and in today's video I will try to explain to you why in my opinion Algorand has a very brilliant future. It is one of the faster Slayer ones in all of crypto. They are very energy efficient, scalable, secure and decentralized. I know that every crypto project out there says that they figured out how to solve a blockchain trilemma which is decentralization, security uh, and scalability. And actually Algorand has a very pretty honest case. Despite 2023 being harsh for all of the crypto, but at the end of the day Algorand is still a very solid layer one and they're only getting better with time. Unlike other blockchains such as Solana for example, Algorand has had zero downtime since it went live in 2019. And imagine that Gary Gensler even liked Algorand himself. Just listen to this video. Uh, Sylvia McCallie's Algorand, uh, who's a uh, Turing Award winner at, at MIT that I work with. Um, Sylvia's got a great technology that has performance you could create Uber on top of it. The question is then who would update the software? So as usually guys, hit a like to the video, subscribe to the channel. It really helps to boost the video for all Algorand holders. And let's get started. So first of all, I want to tell you that Algorand was founded by a world-renowned mathematician and cryptographer Silvio Micali. As you can see from the screen, he has even won the Turing Award back in the days uh, in 2012, which is the highest accolade that you can only receive in computer science. Silvio Micali has pioneered so many amazing things that are used not just in Angular, but in other blockchains every day. He helped pioneer zero-knowledge proofs, uh, he helped pioneer verifiable random functions and this is crucial because that's how Algorand achieves consensus in a decentralized secure way. So how does VR apps work you might ask? Algorand is one of a swarm of new blockchains that aim to transform finance and the modern world by serving as the platforms for so-called decentralized smart contracts that can be conducted person to person and across borders without government intermediaries. And that entire process process happens in 3.3 seconds. It used to be 3.8 seconds, but thanks to the newest update now it's 3.3. I think the craziest part about all of this is that Algorand uses less than 80 kilowatt and its entire network uses less than 80% of energy than charging a Tesla. Algorand digital transactions emit 750 million times less CO2 than Bitcoin's blockchain. A lot of people refer to Algorand as the Cardano of Europe. It will be sort of hard for you to understand some concepts unless you're like an engineer or someone who knows how to code. If you want to learn how to build an Algorand, you can take a virtual bootcamp uh, that is for Algorand developers. In March this year, Algorand released the Algo Kit, which is the ultimate toolkit for builders to build an Algorand. Regardless on if you're using Mac or Windows, you can have this up and running in just 10 minutes. Besides just the Algo kit, another bullish innovation on the tech side of Algorand is the rollout of one-click nodes. And what I mean by that is that if you want to run a participation node on Algorand, you can literally do that with one click. In my opinion, it is very hard not to be bullish on Algorand, especially when you realize how big the ecosystem is. Their DeFi is awesome. Algorand has its own meme coins. It has some lending and borrowing sites like Folk Finance. It has trading protocols and marketplaces like Tinyman, for example. They also have art and music NFTs like Rand Gallery. Algorand has gaming with uh, famous Alchemon and Ager Tactics, for example. I don't know if you have heard about them. Also, Algorand has oracles and bridges, like with Algamint Flair, uh, from what I also know, the London Bridge as well. Uh, they have infrastructure, uh, something's familiar to me here, maybe chain analysis at some point. And all of that is really impressive, guys. It tells me that the project doesn't stand still, they're constantly developing, and uh, I'm personally really bullish on Algorand. Another thing that I like about Algorand is that they listen to their holders. And as an example, we can take Algorand governance. For example, here we can see that governance is a decentralized program which allows Alga holders to vote on the future of Algorand. But governance works for Algorand a little bit different than it does for other coins. Instead of just staking your coins forever and letting them sit in there, with Algorand you lock your coins up for three months at a time. When you lock your coins up, during that time is when you can vote on proposals and have your voice heard in the Algorand network. And you can do it on Folks Finance, for example. 
And before we get into price prediction, first we have to talk about vesting or emission schedules. Like I said, how Algorand evolves over time, the way they're vesting or emitting tokens into the circulating supply has also changed over time. Since 2019, they had to stop aggressively vesting so hard and change course, so Algorand's plan to actually be 100% vested and have all of the coins in the supply by 2024, maybe somewhere 2030. And it's not exactly clear when Algorand will be 100% fully vested. So as of right now, Algorand has about 78% of its max supply in circulation. The Algorand Foundation holds other 24%, and they use those coins to help build and support the community over time, so once all the coins are invested, Algorand will generate money for itself. Because the emission schedule isn't exactly clear, some may think that it's going to be aggressively vested and everything will be out in a number of years. But I personally think that the last 24% is going to go into the supply slower. Additionally, Algorand has partnered recently with DWF Labs in a 50 million dollar deal and it's approximately 500 million Algorand at a current price. And all of them will be taken from Algorand Foundation from this 24%. And with all that being said, let's get to the chart. You can see here that Algorand all-time high was at around $3.20 cents in 2019. But I personally don't consider that as all-time high, because that was right after the coin launch and it fell 92% after that and then went on to the next bull run. I consider Algorand's all-time high to be at around $3, which it reached in November 2021. The market cap was a little more than 13 billion of dollars, according to the coin market cap, and Algorand had 6 billion, around 250 million of coins in supply. And right now, Algorand is a little bit below 10 cents with the market cap of 750 million dollars, and currently has a little bit over 7 billion 820 million coins in circulation. So, like I said, as of today, Algorand is about 78% vested. I understand that Algorand has went down a lot in price since its all time high, and I do understand that it has lost over 12 billion of dollars from its market cap and over a million coins went into circulating supply since that time. But Algorand is definitely building and Alga knows how to pump when the right time comes. So remember, the price equals market cap divided by circulating supply, that's how we establish the price prediction. So what will the supply be for Algorand's next all-time high? Well, it really depends how much the Algorand Foundation puts into other projects. Like I said, 2030 is a benchmark for when Algorand could be fully vested, but it's not exactly clear that they will all be released by then. Like I said, they want to hold on to some Algorand so they can continue to build and grow the ecosystem. So let's assume that there will be roughly 8.5 billion of coins in the circulating supply by the time we get to November 25, which is projected to be the top of the next bull run. So if we take Algorand's market cap from November 2021, when it was at its high, it was a little over 13 billions of dollars. If we used it as a numerator and put that with the height and supply of 8.5 billions of coins, that would give us about $1.54.55 per Algorand. And with the increased supply in mind, if Algorand went to a $50 billion market cap, it would come out at about $2.00. 35 cents per Algorand. And if the market cap gets on fire and goes to 50 billions of dollars, Algorand would cost around $5.85. So for the top of the next bull run, my Algorand price prediction is somewhere between $2.40 and $6 roughly. So right now, things are still pretty sad for not just Algorand, but for all of altcoins. We're still basically in an altcoin bear market, and until the excitement turns around, a lot of people, they might not see the light at the end of the road. But it's important that you have faith and you have conviction with the coins that you pick. And I think that Algorand is a definitely winner. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next videos.